Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to help you guys with the attack planner because to me it is the best tool to have in Greppo and uh, it, it was the hardest thing for me to learn. I'm usually pretty quick at learning some of this stuff, but it was not very user friendly, so to speak. So, and, and to get it, you have to have the captain enabled. Uh, a lot of us that, that spend a little bit of money, but not a lot, use the captain and the administrator. Uh, they just really, really help. You can uh, look up what they do in our guides tab, but uh, they really, really help with uh, uh, making the game be more efficient. In other words, more efficient with your time, getting a lot more done for less time in front of the front of the computer. So anyway, you have to have the captain. And I want to start this little lesson because this is an attack. This is actually one that I need to uh, to set up for in the morning. So I'm going to go to my little overview here uh, that shows. Uh, what all I've got going on right now. I've got some uh, uh, empty transpose coming back from JM's op where I lost some uh, serious OLU and LS, uh, some of my remaining LS coming back, uh, so that's good. Uh, but let me uh, let me get out some of those support things there. If, if you don't know, these buttons down here will eliminate the different types of attacks. Uh, it'll help you see. Some of them work, some of them actually don't. It's kind of weird. Uh, so anyway, it shortens it down where I can see kind of what, what I want to see down here, which is I've got uh, Craig or Greb City, Shadowhold Craig, uh, in revolt right now. It's going to open up for me to be able to take at 9.14 uh, in the morning. However, I don't have a slot. I've uh, been trying to get rid of VI for a little while. New speed stepping up. He's going to take it out. He's got it in revolt right now. Uh, it starts at 11, uh, at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, he was kind enough to make sure his CS got in the water and took it as fast as he could, which is at 1103.59. That's when his CS is going to land. The moment it lands, it's going to take the city, or at least that's how we expect things to happen. And uh, so I'm going to plan my attack on Shadowhold to land at 11.05. So that's how I establish the time that I want to put. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go in the forum and, and post up the, the actual uh, attack thread so everybody else can participate if they want. Uh, so 11.05 is my time. So let's go in here and take a look at how this is going to work. Scroll down to the attack planner here. It's going to pop up. I've got uh, an attack uh, plan in here now for Xeno, which was the, the city that JM was attacking. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need it anymore. I don't like a lot of clutter. So I'm going to make a new plan, and I'm just going to call it uh, uh, Greb City. Uh, the attack target will populate itself once you start typing uh, once you get at least three letters in there, you can start, you can dig through here and uh, find it. So there it is, Shadowhold Craig City. It needs that to be able to populate all of this stuff. So, okay, so in here, this is where it gets kind of confusing. And it's really not that bad once you figure out how to do it. It's got all your list of your cities. It's got all the, everything that you've got within those cities right now. Now, if they're traveling, it's not going to have them in there. Um, but what I like to do, and this is, this is really, really important, is I want to, schedule these attacks, but I want them to, I want to be able to schedule them from the perspective of getting them started uh, as soon as possible. So I want to organize these cities based on how close they are uh, to the actual target that I'm, I'm going for. So and that's where these little, little buttons come up here. You've got sort by travel time and you've got sort by city name. Uh, when you click on sort by travel time, you can see I just turned it upside down. North Pole Navy here four hours and two minutes away, North Pole Army, four hours, and, it, and it's going down. So let me click that again, and it, it's showing the quickest travel times I've got out there. VI is the city that I've got. Obviously, I've got nothing in it. So we're going to start uh, with Integrity. Uh, integrity is only 54 minutes out. Uh, it's, uh, so, so what we do here is if you'll just click on that little button right there, it brings up uh, boxes where you can populate them. So I'm going to click on that, and that's going to drop them all down in there. I'm going to click on my 14 hops, which are next to nothing, but this is a nuke that just got wiped out. I've already got the barracks cranking them out. So by the time I have to launch this, this number is going to be a lot greater. Uh, but I'm putting this in there as is for now just to get the, the uh, line item in the attack. So you, you'll see that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put the 95 transpose in there. You can always change this on the fly right before you launch the attack. So right now, it's just about getting it in there. Now, all of this stuff gives you information that, that you need to know. Uh, this is going to be your total travel time. Uh, this is going to be what resources you can collect. None of that stuff really matters to me in planning an attack, except when is the thing going to land, 
Okay, so since I know 1105 is when my harbor clearance needs to be, and this is going to be a, an OLU, I'm going to go with 1105.30. Okay, and uh, I'm going to put that in there as an attack, obviously. Uh, add the command. So now that command, it said it was added successfully, so now it's going to be in there. So I can scroll down to the very next uh, uh, input, which is uh, Baylor Bears. I happen to know what it is already. I've got troops in the water, so I can't really add anything to it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, throw in what I can right now. Go 1105, 30 on that one as well. Just to get the line item in there again, you can always change this stuff right before you launch. Uh, and there are a few bugs. You scroll back up here. Because I don't have an LS listed here, LS and transpo times are a little bit different. What I found is it's a little weird. When I go to launch this and I go to put in the LS, it may not recalculate the time, so it may cause this one to be a little bit late. I'll play with that a little bit later right before I start to launch everything just to make sure everything's copacetic. So I'm going to add that command in there. Oh, let me put those units back in there. I think I may have already done this, so I may be doubling it. But that's okay because you can always uh, delete line items out. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one. Go down to 6th Street Cops. It's got a 60 LS nuke, uh, uh, nuke an LS escort. Got 1,600 uh, uh, little slingers. You guys have to bear with me, man. I'm still sick. I've been down for two or three days. It's not cool. I'm not firing on all cylinders. Uh, so I had to scroll over so I could see my cats because I'm starting to put at least 10 cats in every OLU, OLU nuke I've got. So to mark, well, let me take that back. I've already done the revolt. I've already dropped his wall, so I'm not going to risk losing those cats on a CS, uh, on a CS drop. So <clears throat> leaving those out. So here we go. Let me input the time. This is the biggest pain in the butt because it makes you put all of this stuff in there exactly down to the second, or it won't let you, uh, won't let you fill it out. But that's that's okay. So 11:05:30. Go down to Alliance first. This is an LS uh, nuke for me, so I know it's going to be not going to be carrying anything else. So I'm going to go down to here and put in 11:05 uh, flat. Add that in there. Go to Batman. Drop the LS in there. Uh, Batman is, and this is another thing that I do that a lot. I don't know if you guys do it or not. But this color coded. Uh, piece of clusterfuck is my actual how I know what my cities are because I just changed a lot of my cities over to match up with the uh, the resource production of the particular islands because once you start getting quite a few cities the biggest pain in your butt is going to be transferring resources around to get them from a place that's got too many to a place where it doesn't have enough so Batman used to be a an offensive nuke for me but now it's a DLU uh, so I'm going to skip that one Go down to, uh, you know what, I'm not going to skip it because it's, it's still got some LS hanging out in there uh, that can be useful even though it already doesn't have any offensive troops. So I'm going to go and include them in the, uh, in the harbor clearance. So add that line item. Okay, and we're going to go to Larky's Lament. That's a LS, uh, an LS nuke. So we're going to go with, uh, get it in here, right? That, add that line. Okay, East Beast is actually a, uh, it's a uh, slinger nuke, but I don't, uh, I can put the transpose in there. I don't like the fact that there's no LSs there or no troops, so I can't really put this stuff in there. That's just the cost of being too active, I guess. Uh, and hopefully the times will work themselves out once I go back in here and edit these and adjust them. I've had it work and I've had it not work, so, I, you know, the game's not always... Uh, up to par, but you you got to work with what you got. Uh, so this will at least get the line item in there. So I'm going to go down to Dallas. I've converted this from an LS nuke uh, over to a BR nuke. So uh, all I've got is these five LS in there, but I, you know, hey, I'll throw the kitchen sink at him if that's what it takes. So this will help get rid of those five anyway. Uh, let's see. Border Patrol South. Now this is where I'm going to have my CS. Uh, my CS is going to be coming out of this city. Uh, luckily, it's already I already got it produced, uh, so I'm going to throw those 76 slingers. There's actually going to be more. I've got those pumping out right now as well, uh, just to make sure I've got plenty for, for a safe landing. So I'm going to go with 11, oh, uh, 11, 
06. So that's the CS landing. Okay, now we're going to scroll down to Border Patrol North. And you, you may notice that the screen's kind of, it does something weird when I click on that. And that always confused me at first. But just, just roll with it. Okay, so Border Patrol North only has two LSs. It's actually an LS nuke. I've been trying to kill off like 100 BR for forever. And I'm only down to 50. So here's the uh, uh, the line item for um, for this entry. Damn it, I hate that. It's hard. It's a pain in the butt to click in these holes here because of the way they've they've got it set up. Because you, if you click, you can actually scroll back to the right. So it's anyway. You'll see when you get to playing with it. Uh, once you get used to it, though, this thing is. I mean, it's awesome. Amarillo used to be a DLU city for me. Let's see what I've got now. It's a slinger. Okay. So pop those slingers in there. Pop the transpose in there. Uh, set the time and move on. Some of this is getting repetitive. You fast forward in the video, whatever it takes. Uh, but I'm throwing everything I got at this cat. I, I'm just going to assume that uh, he's going to get tons of help and I'm not going to miss the city because I decided to hold back you know, those five LS from Dallas that could make the difference. Tell is told that's another LS nuke. Uh, okay, and that command. So you can see adding these in here it gets relatively simple once you uh, you've decided you're going to use the thing and you figured out, hey, no matter what, uh, this is what we're going to do. So okay, here we go. This is Dashel Win is actually a slinger nuke. They're all dead right now on JM City, but they're rebuilding, so add that command in there. And uh, my favorite Mexican, I labeled it that because it, the island actually looked like Cuba. Uh, but anyway, all right, so this guy used to be defensive too, and now I think he's a hop, yeah, he's a hop nuke. So let's see what's going on here. See, still got defense in there, I can't get rid of because our enemies are afraid to attack us. And see, now I just screwed up. When you hit the hop, uh, it'll organize it by your hops. So if you were looking to just send LS, you could go over here and hit the LS button, and uh, it would organize it based on the number of LSs that you have available at the time. I, I've tried to work that, but it doesn't seem to be completely accurate in that regard, so I stay away from that. I just do it strictly based on travel time uh, so that I make sure I get all of the cities in there that I, that I want to get in. Once I hit that, I hit that button again, and you can see these are the ones that we just did, and it brought me right back uh, to opening this, the hole where I, where I was. So, all right, so here's the hops I'm sending. Drop those in there. Even though these are more than what we need, this will tell you right here how many you need to send to hold hold this number of guys. I put in all of it because these numbers are going to change by the time I launch. No way around. So I just added that command. Clicking in here for eviction notice, that opened it up. So dropping the LS in there, uh, dropping the little horsies in there, dropping the transpose in there. I don't know. I accidentally built 16 of these. Sometimes the screen will change on you. I guarantee you've done it if you hadn't. You've been really, really lucky. Sometimes the screen will update itself right before you go to click uh, produce, the produce button or whatever, and then bam, you got whatever the default position is. I tell you how many swordsmen I've, I've uh produced because of that. So that's a OLU nuke, so it's going 11.05.30. Okay, now my Utah bigamist is an LS nuke, so drop him in there, 11.05. This is much easier to do when you're not trying to create a tutorial video of it, I promise. Uh, Dash North is a BR nuke, as you can see, North Pole Army. Uh, that's actually a DLU nuke. The Navy is a BR, BR nuke. Uh, so none of those have LS. Uh, and they're the furthest away. These are my furthest three uh, cities up, up north uh, in, in, uh, in 43. All right. So let's move over. Now that I've got it all in there, I'm going to close it out and just start fresh. I'm going to go back into Attack Planner. And here's my attack. Okay. I clicked on it. Here it is. 
Uh, here's my target. All of these attacks are hitting the same target. You can set it up however you want. I mean, if you wanted to hit multiple targets, do whatever your little heart desires. So you can actually go over here to the attack tab and see them in big, you know, bold colors. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, you click this button here, which will show all the units, which I like to see before I launch so I kind of know what's going on. But the thing I don't like about this screen, it took me forever to figure this out, you can't delete these once you've launched them to get them kind of out of your way so you don't screw up. Uh, but you can if you do it from the screen we were just at, which since there's no back button, you got to go back to the beginning. So I just clicked on Grab City. Internet's lagging a little bit. So here we are. So this is the screen I'm going to launch stuff from. Okay, now, most important thing in the whole entire attack planner is clicking on this button right here, sort by departure. So bam, clicked on sort by departure. This shows that Border Patrol South, which if you remember is my CS city, has to leave first. Imagine that, slowest thing in the game. It's got to leave at 344 in the AM, which is basically, if you look over here, it's one hour from now. So I just need to stay up another hour so I can launch this puppy. But then, for my next attacks, they're going to start having to be launched at 825, which kind of sucks, but I want this city pretty bad, so I'll set my alarm to get up for it. Then what I'll do is I use – a lot of people just sit here and watch the screens. For me, I use a stopwatch uh, like a, on my, on my uh, actual smartphone to time it and to give me an alarm about 30 seconds out when I need to launch it. So since I'm not launching right now, I may do another video for that just so you can kind of see it. It's, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you haven't done it, it can be a little confusing. Let's say I needed to adjust this. There's a couple of things you can do from here. This little pencil button right here will allow you to go in and actually edit that specific attack if you want to change some things. Now, in the morning, I'm going to obviously need to edit some of these because some of those troops that are coming home weren't counted here when I set up the attack plan just a few minutes ago. So, and, and some of the transpos didn't have LS that, that will have LS, and that's going to change some timing around. I'm hoping that it's smart enough to account for that this time when, when time's passed. It, it has and hasn't, it just when it feels like it. So, uh, that's where you can edit it at. Now, when you get ready to launch it, now I just clicked on the show all units. You can toggle that if you want. I leave this thing open. I'll use the minimize button, but I never close it out so I can get to it really quickly. Let's say my alarm clock goes off 8.24 in the morning. So it, that's going to give me enough time if I need to refresh my browser, connect to the Internet or whatever, I can get that done. So what I'm going to do is I know that the attack time is 11.05, just in case I forget. I scoot this, this little screen over this way so that when I pull up the attack, uh, when I click on here and pull up the actual little attack box, and you see these numbers down here, I can launch based on this number. I can watch this number tick up, and when it hits 1105, that's when I hit the attack button. You don't have to have pen, piece of paper, none of that stuff, and this is what makes it really, really cool. And if you notice, already I've got 117 LS available when at the time I set it, it's populating it at 110. How do I change that? Bam, just click on it, and there it is. Okay? So, uh, anyway, so then you can see how that goes. So whenever it, it clicks on the time, which I'm not doing right now, obviously, because 5.30 is about five and a half hours too soon, but I would hit attack and then go on to the next one, so on and so forth. Now, one thing I didn't do when I opened this back up, if you didn't notice, is hit this button again. Again, I can't tell you how important this is, because you'll come in here like this, sort by arrival, and you'll be looking at this and go, okay, I don't have to launch anything until 825. Well, when in reality, I've got something sooner. I clicked on this, 344. So really, don't forget to do this. You'll hate yourself for it after going all this trouble to set it up. So hopefully that helps you guys because uh, that took me hours and hours to learn a bunch of this stuff and figure out the hard way so that I wouldn't have to use pencil and paper. So, all right, good luck.